today from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. This is Madden NFL 21. Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Turn sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now we see quarterback Drew Brees in his New Orleans offense set to go on attack here for the first time. Total relentlessness of consistency. Almost like a machine if you watch him in practice after every throw. He resets his feet, visualizes all the other options on a play. So if he has to do it in a game, it's already there, has the muscle memory. I start calling him AI for artificial intelligence. Whatever defense does during a game, he absorbs it and then uses it against them as the game moves on. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. And a pass complete here to Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. So give him nine there on the first down completion. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 44. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. on the ground on first with Camara. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Bree's going to throw. 
That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Well, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Shotgun now for Breeze. And this is going to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Takeover for Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say a great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Brady. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 11 yards there, first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Brady's pass there, complete to Gronkowski. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that it's a gain of 16 first down tampa bay how about the start throwing the football four for four on this opening drive oh he's slinging it and oftentimes when you talk about slinging it you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard not necessarily accurately in this case though he's honing in on his targets and he's delivering yeah the opening script however they drew it up for this first drive going to plan so far so in saints territory now here's first and 10 at the 39 yard line Working from the gun, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground.
The LSU man, Leonard Fournette, born right here in New Orleans. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. A gain of 12. First down, Buccaneers. tight ends here on first down. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A 12-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Ryan suck up on for the point after. gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive in total 8 plays. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Here's Harris to return it. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup so quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line breeze leaves this one with camara and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time 41 out a gain of three second down yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Breeze. Now on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there, first down. But remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. 
So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. To throw is Breeze. And brought in by the tight end Cook. Breeze, seven yards, the pick up there. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. A really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the ground, Kamara. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Breeze. He'll get this one underneath to Camara. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Breeze now to throw. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. That is caught at the seven. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Good goal at the four-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. time rolls around. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis in this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Breeze to throw again. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. About a half yard from the end zone. Third and goal. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Breeze able to hook up with Jared Cook. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now.
after it took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A pretty long drive that time. Eleven plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24 yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. On first and ten, here's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Complete. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Brady. And break. The tight end's got it. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. the gun it's Brady that's complete to his running back Evans the Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half Second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again, Brady, he completes this into the hands of Miller. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other, a gain of six. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Brady again. And they'll get that to Fournette, complete. 
And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Brady to throw again. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be from 56 yards out. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. here at this stage of the second quarter you give up great field position and that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big and we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves the saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and i think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Seven, our score. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bucks take over first and 10. And they're on 24 yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. Last time out, they had that long 50 plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay. Do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Again, it's Jones. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out that heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Brady going to throw. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Jones. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Brady now on first down. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. Brady, they'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Shotgun now for Brady. And he finds Gronk. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Brady's pass there, complete to Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. To throw again on second down, Brady. Intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Again, it's Brady. as he gets in there to record the sack. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? a field goal team now for the second time here today. Maybe spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. 
So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 42. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. Pressure too much. Down he goes. And Dominican Sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. the sack. It'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Another try after the first down sack. Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And to the 36-yard line. Taken down there after getting eight yards. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover it? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. On third and long, it's Breeze. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further. As they get him down well short of the line to gain. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. Start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Evans has it left side. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 45-yard line. catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one Fournette running out of the gun and he's got yeah, this down yeah, to the 35 it it's a first down on a gain of 10 well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. 
And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On the delay, Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. David Onyemata there on the tackle. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw, it's Brady. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Operating from the gun. Brady, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. Here's 10, Saints 7. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The punter pinion now to kick this one away. Here's Harris to return it. And it takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Saints take over first and 10. And the Saints again ready to go on offense. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 26. He'll throw from the gun. This is complete to Michael Thomas. A gain of six there on first. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. 
Working from the gun, it's Breeze. The open man is Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Throwing on first down is Breeze. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. Breeze. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. a field goal separating these two sides. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got a man. He finds Sanders. again the Saints are back out in front and touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them right way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating yeah, part one is done but now on the sideline you can already see them scrambling down there they're getting those defensive guys ready yes you have to get those guys ready and you also have to talk to your special teams guys make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. 
Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. He's back to throw. Scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camaro. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Back to throw, Breeze. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. partner but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow this was one bruising affair low scoring but my kind of football not a work of art but maybe in your world a little bit of a work of art you like the defensive side I thought it was pretty I can't help myself I thought it was pretty and it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zero so this one a victory here for New Orleans and it was their defense that led the way allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half and remember the old adage offense sells tickets defense does what wins championships and in this game maybe a championship wasn't won but a game was by the defense right held them to just a field goal that's a heck of a job I mean when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish just love the execution love the tenacity love the way they finished So that'll
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. I'll be heading to the hotel. Charles, he's off to Bourbon Street. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, we say so long from New Orleans.